What's up guys? I am Sean from SRK Cycles. We have a 2014 or 15, I don't know, 20 something Yamaha Bolt C-Spec. Now the C-Spec is more cafe out. So you got the mid-range controls, you got the clip-ons, you got the cafe fairing, you got the cool, sweet, um, I don't know who makes them. When I see gold, I think of Olin's, but you got the the upgraded uh, shocks. Um, this is a sweet bike. I can't wait to ride it. And I'm going to tell you why this is one of the coolest bikes to come out of Yamaha. Um, coolest new bikes to come out of Yamaha. And I think, I think what they're doing and their mentality of this bike is, is really beneficial to the motorcycle industry. I'm going to tell you why. Now this thing is fun. We are absolutely going to take this head to head uh, against the um, against the Kawasaki Vulcan 650S. First, let's do the words of the where's the wisdom. Forever 15-1. A soft answer turns away wrath, but a grievous word stirs up anger. That is wise. And listen, if you guys don't believe that, next time someone says something mean to you, say something real nice to them. Okay. All right. So, so the cool, some of the cool things about this bike: a uh, little tiny windshield. Whatever. Whatever. I don't care. It doesn't take away. It doesn't. Do much for me but i love the digital day i love the digital gauge it's a pretty bright day out and normally with digital gauges you have a really hard time seeing them now i'm actually watching this in real life so if you're looking at that digital gauge and it's all flickering and stuff like that that's because that has something to do with the refresh rate of the digital gauge and the refresh rate of the camera and the refresh rate of the TV screen that you're watching it on, TV, phone, or computer screen. It's actually a pretty interesting thing if you ever look into it. It, I watched a video about it from the slow-mo guy, so I thought it was pretty cool. So if we were riding the non-C-Spec, it would have like regular handlebars, it's got a little more forward controls, and they're also just cool, cool bikes. But I like this, this is more of a cafe bike, this is like the bike that people are trying to are trying to turn their old 70s and 80s Yamaha, Kawasaki's, and Suzuki's into, which I'm not gonna lie, it kind of annoys me. Mailman, what are you doing? Oh, mailman. Silly mailman. But I like when bikes, I like when money manufacturers do cool bikes like this. I think it's sweet. I think it's super cool looking. I'm up, I'm 6'2, Caleb's 6'4. Caleb's been driving this thing home every night since we got it. And he looks awesome on it. He doesn't look huge. He's not like devouring the bike. Let's take another look at it. I like that my leg kind of sits, kind of sits on this. When it's sitting right here, it's kind of comfortable for me. You wouldn't think a green bike would up. Oh, I gotta go. You wouldn't think a green bike would look so cool, but it does. Let's see what it can do. It is by no means a slow bike. You know, it 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 pulls. It pulls just like any any cruiser bike. It doesn't have. Uh, it's got a decent sound too. It's fairly quiet. I like it. I think this is a fun bike. You could definitely, uh, you could definitely have a lot of fun. You could push the limits in the corners. I love the clip-ons. I'm pretty comfortable with the way this sits. Personally, this makes me sit with like pot with better posture. You know what I mean? Chest out, back, back in. I could definitely see myself doing a uh, doing a longer drive on this, but you know what's surprising? So, and maybe they'll do. Maybe they've done this. I don't know. I don't keep up. I'm, I'm not that up to date with the latest 
of all the manufacturers until I buy one of their bikes. But maybe something that they're gonna do is they've got like they've got like the cruiser bike that's kind of competing with like the uh, you know the 883 and stuff like that. You know the regular Bolt. And then they got the Bolt C spec, which is like the cafe bike. What about the Bolt? What would they call it? What about the Bolt S spec? Which would be the Scrambler Bolt. I could see that being a thing. That'd be sweet. I think this is a cool platform. I think it's a great... I mean, I don't know that much about the engine. I've heard nothing bad about it. But in terms of the power and how it feels right now, it's basically a brand new bike. I think it feels great. It's smooth. It's a V-twin. It's got a good look to it. It's got great power. And these things are MSRP is just tapping in at like 8500 bucks. That's a pretty cheap bike. It's pretty cheap. If if you're trying to hit this market, if you're trying to hit this cafe, if you're trying to get the young guys into riding, not even back into riding, just into riding for the first time to reignite that that freedom that like that you know the old guys got a long time ago but which was way cheaper for them to obtain if you're trying to ignite that you have to it's got to be you have to make price point bikes you have to make bikes that people are like one that bike is awesome and two they're like how much is it holy cow it's that much and i think yamo is doing a great job with that you got the fc series you know that coming in like 6500 bucks or something crazy and then you got you got these cruiser bikes and Yamaha makes a great bike it's a great power it's great power it's great looks it handles good the brakes feel good I'm sure there's tons of modifications to do to them this thing is sweet and I like that they kept it real simple with the gauges and everything, you know what I mean? I mean, you don't need traction control and all that dumb stuff. But it's a nice, simple one gauge. You got your miles per hour. I'm sure you could probably... There's your tribometer. What more do you need? Miles per hour, tribometer. Who cares? You, you, uh, you shift whenever you hit the red limit or you're not accelerating anymore. These are basic, this is the basics of motorcycles. Um, man, this is a cool bike. I don't know how big the tank is. I don't know how much miles per gallon it gets. I don't care. Cause I'm just sitting back here, just looking, just looking like, man, this is a cool looking bike. This bike, you, you need to be wearing like, okay, what I'm wearing for this bike is ridiculous. And now it's always ridiculous, but sp specifically for this bike. Now my boots, they might match, but to be, but when you're wearing this bike, you need like a bomber jacket. You know what I mean? You need a scarf and you need one of them like three quarter helmets. That's the most appropriate thing to wear for these things. Although full, anything other than a full face helmet is super dumb. I know I'm going to take tons of heat on the internet for that. But hey, I like my face. Guys, don't forget to check in the description. This bike is currently for sale. And if you're interested in buying this bike, check in the description and see if it's still for sale because we sell our bikes really, really fast. Um, but we got a lot of cool stuff in the description. We got our bikes and beards gear. We got tank straps that we're selling on Amazon, which are sick, the baddest way to strap down your bike. And, uh, some other cool products on bikes and beards gear guys we will see you guys later don't forget it's not what you're riding the boat where you're going what's up guys sean here from srk cycles and thanks for watching the video click here to subscribe click here to see more content and as always click in this check out the description box to see our latest inventory and our killer deals to see how to win a free motorcycle and also to see our latest uh bikes and beards gear. We'll see you guys later. Remember, it's not what you're riding, but where you're going.